And if you are suspected that the, the rocks that you found have gold, then try this method to prove it yourself that your rocks have gold in it. And I'll have to share with you guys my experience over the past decade. Based on my experience, I will share with you. First, the small scale miners, they recognize the different types of gold and gold ore. Always remember that gold often occurs in free elemental native states as form as nuggets, grains, and a bean, and also alluvial deposits. It depends on your country. Some country have abundant on gold nuggets like in United States, but in other countries has abundant on um, greens, gold that occurs in rocks, and some countries have many golds in alluvial. And if you ask me what rocks have gold, then sylvanite and calaverite are gold bearing minerals, just like this. Gold is usually found embedded in quartz bean, just like this. There is a quartz quartz here here. Or pleaser stream gravel. Just like this. So small skill miners today, it's easier for you to learn. We have lots of tools today. And also many people teaching you and lots of books that we read so there's no reason for us not to learn so after learning all the rocks and minerals that containing gold type of rocks quartz vein and other information then you are ready to explore second is exploration and prospecting bringing simple simple tools like like this hammer brass water spray don't forget to bring water spray to clean the rocks water spray here and also don't forget this is very important i look to check the visibility of gold that you found not so clear in the camera but if this I love contact to your eyes and direct to the rocks you can see clearly after studying you can explore and prospecting maybe in the river here and additional you can also look for kimberlite that has diamond bearing rocks you can also find the rocks that you studied here and the edge of the clip, this is the clip. There's so many rocks here. You can also use metal detector. Now searching the rocks that we studied and bringing our tiny magnifying glass here. After a few minutes of searching, and I got this four piece of rocks here. So what we're gonna do here is to crush this one to get some tiny gold here. This is the first steps of gold extraction by roasting the rocks. And leave it. The reason here is to reduce sulfur or uh, loosen the strength of rocks for easy crushing. As you can see here, we zoom in. So leave this rock to our fire in just a couple hours. After one hour and a half, our fire has consumed and it's time to get our rocks here. 
and we put we put to our stainless uh, bowl with water. Not completely dry to control dust when crushing. After roasting, some minerals in our rocks are turning into a black and brown, but the real gold is not a uh, never change. Just like this, some of here, here also, this one also. And very tiny here and this one also some are brown brown the bright the shiny one before turn into brown and also and this one is a nothing changed and that is our gold it's like that some pie right here turning into a brown color and here also the next rocks some minerals are turning into brown here, but this one is not changed. This one here, very small, very tiny. And this one also at the top, right? beside the big sulfide. This one also. Now this one also here. There's a lot of tiny particle here, but never changed to our fire. Some are turning into brown and dark brown and maybe some black so very nice no? here also yeah some are turning into brown but the real gold is not changed color okay crushing our rocks we add our fire extinguisher crusher we have prepared 600 mesh strainer and our pan so let's begin very easy to crush wear face mask or electric fan here our ear to control the dust away from me what does this exactly look like after 20 minutes you can just continue smashing you see that there's more dust than put to your Trainer. the larger particle put it back to your crusher then turn on our electric pan to control the dust away from me baby As I continue working, only few amounts remain in our strainer. And that's it. Okay, panning time. Here to find out if there is really gold in the stone that we are crushing. So let's begin. We transfer some of our material because we add slowly, small amount only. We add soap powder here to break down the surface tension so that no more gold floating. Okay, let's begin. First thing you're gonna do here is to wet the material and do not slow slush immediately allow to settle 
because na some tiny particle of gold is easily wash just like that and slowly let's remove dust the gold is heavier than other mineral so it goes goes up to our pan you see that is our nano gold here as you can see very clear that we have gold in our material right so let's continue our gold here is low sulfide <laughs> and like gray mineral that in the past so that is exactly to collect the gold here is high grade unlike other video that i got i upload After collecting more than any half of our gold in our pan, it's time to slush slowly to remove light material. As you can see here, very slow. And shake, drag the material into the center of your pan, then slush slowly. The gold is heavy and sinking to the bottom of our pan. Carefully. This is taking few minutes to reduce. When the light material has reduced, then here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. After a few hours of working, this is all I collected. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, hard to the taking camera. So we pour the our pan. Our pan is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen. Look. <sighs> bubble that is our gold not much because our material is the small amount yeah so we take a closer look very nice nanoparticle of gold so this is for now and thank you for watching don't forget to follow and subscribe uh, like this video for more updates of stone gold recovery via chemical process